guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Viridian, uh, coming to you from the Shade Den on a Sunday, Sunday morning. Uh, today is Sunday morning, February 26th, and almost, almost March, which is really pretty much when everything gets crazy here in Florida for spring break, all the college kids come down to Florida, people come down to Florida to vacation, and just all this whole area in Florida gets flooded with tourists. But anyway, guys. Hope you guys are doing well today. Yeah, like I said, it's Sunday. Ready for a shave. Got about three days worth of growth my face, as you can tell. On one of my videos, I, re I remember I had a comment saying that one of my viewers said that that I didn't have much hair to shave. But just to preview you guys, I do have some hair to shave on my face. This is like a, about two and a, about three days worth of growth my face. So my hair grows pretty slow. So... I usually shave every day, so I usually don't let it go for more than three days. But guys, this is a this is my my review of a soap. I just got a mail too, by the way, which came came about about maybe four days ago. I've used it once already. I saw Scott from Shaving with Peg Leg use this soap. He actually bought this from eBay, and it is called Viennese Made Made Crafts. Old time barbershop shave soap. So this comes in a little puck, which I you know no there's no there's no plastic tub or anything or or even a tin tub. Just comes with a puck in this bag. So I dropped it into my old spice my vintage old spice mug, and it's supposed to smell like a very old barbershop type scent. Uh, Two point six ounce soap. And I paid about nine dollars for this soap from from eBay. And as far as I see, that it's that that's the only place where you can find this soap at from this artisan V and A uh, made made main crafts. But use it once, enjoyed it. So I'm gonna use it again on video, show you guys how it, how well it performs on lathers and the scent. And scent is pretty strong on the soap. I would say it's about maybe a, almost close to a ten on a scale from one to ten. Very, very powdery, very, lots of, lots of sandalwood in this. I mean, and there's a lot of sandalwood in this. Just definitely powdery. I mean, definitely get the uh, barbershop vibes for the soap. But you guys, let me rinse my face. Let me get my face fully hydrated. And the razor I'll be using is, is my E1 Gillette Fat Boy. So this is an E1, this is like 1959, uh, first quarter, uh, digestible razor. And I'm going to put this on... Number four, so about, I think it goes up to number seven, I'm, I'm gonna say. Oh, actually it goes up to number, number nine. So this thing goes up to number number nine settings on this uh, adjustable vintage razor. So I'm gonna go about, I'm gonna go with the number nine. I'm sorry, number number four. And I'll be using the Parmashop blade, which I haven't used in a while. So this will be the first time use of this blade in this razor. And Brush I'll be using is actually going to be one of my one of my favorite brushes to use for a hard soap. So this soap is a little bit hard. It's a little bit, yeah, definitely not a soft soap by any means. So you have to use a pretty good brush for this. So I'm going to use my board brush, which is my Smug Owners Club with the cherry wood handle. So this brush is great, excellent for digging down and getting hard soap to lather. So I'm going to soak this brush for a few minutes and wash my face. Get my face full hydrated. I think I, I took a hot shower a few minutes ago, but I'm gonna go and wash my face one more time while this is soaking, just to get the natural hairs uh, ready for the soap, ready to load the brush. But guys, let me wash my face and I will be right back. Hello guys, back back from my first face lather. Got the soap loaded here on the brush on the Samoga Owners Club. So kind of a thirsty soap. It's a glycerin based soap. Kind of kind of reminds me of Mother Bear soaps, but hard puck. Need lots of water to load this on the on the brush, so I added some more water to get the hopefully the right consistency to make it slick. So let's get this on the face. Yeah, the board brush really does a great job of digging down into a small mug like that and getting the soap out of a puck like you know like a small puck that that size. But at least for me, it does. Uh, first impression, I used this a few days ago and for the very first time, and got a pretty decent amount of lather from the 
and that little puff of soap. So I was watching Shaving with Peg Legs, Scott from that channel, and he had a birthday shave. I think he was celebrating his birthday a few weeks ago. Um, happy birthday, Scott, by the way. But he was talking about using his favorite soap at the time and how this was his favorite soap to use out of all his soaps, and it kind of kind of piqued my interest because I love barbershop scents. I do love the way the, of, you know, old-time barbershop smells. Especially um, going through, you know, going to an old barbershop and getting the the full treatment of the haircut, the straight razor shave, and you know, also the touch up with the razor at the end when they when they do your haircut. A lot of times, even if you don't get a a shave, a lot of times they'll still do your edges with a straight razor, and they usually slap on the after shave, you know, that you know the uh, after shave, whether it be the uh, bay rum or non clubman actually the barbershop I go to they, they use the bay rum on the back of your neck and also around your face for either a straight razor shave or or if they're just edging etching after after your haircut so but this is what, this this is what it smells like actually this this does smell very I wouldn't say spot on to what to like a a, a perfect barbershop scent but man this is very very nice nice scent so Decent amount of uh, sandalwood in the soap. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that first pass with the uh, Gillette Fat Boy here E1 with the Permashot blade. Let's go ahead and do that first pass and get it started here. Yeah, but pretty much a great barbershop scent. I smell the sandalwood in the soap. Nice powdered powdery scent. So I can see why Scott would love this soap. All right, guys, should be enough for a first pass. So I'll be using the Fat Boy E1 adjustable safety razor with the Parmesan blade in there. Go ahead and get this thing ready to go. So first pass with the grain. So in case you're wondering, I do not have a cold. I have my, my allergies have been really pretty much off the charts right now because of the pollen, the tree pollen here in Florida. So my nose has been a little bit runny. Yeah, my eyes have been swollen a little bit, so. I do not have any, any cold or COVID, so. Not the reason for the symptoms. Other than the weather being beautiful, this is the only part of the of the year in Florida, which I hate, is a, is a pollen season. Otherwise, I feel good. Yeah, soap is pretty slick. This is a glycerin-based soap. I'll leave the ingredient list right there with the description of the scent. But, but pretty surprisingly, Enjoyable though, very enjoyable scent. And not too bad for slickness with a glycerin based soap. I wanna say that this is a vegan soap, but I know it has the glycerin, the coconut oil in it, which makes it slick. Yeah, no problem taking down this three days worth of growth with the farmer shop blade on number four. Yeah, very slick soaps. Yeah, from what I saw, the only place you can buy this soap is on eBay. And it's $9 for a 2.6 ounce of puck. And they have other scents too. And the artisan is from Lisbon, Maine. Well, I'm sorry, this spawn falls mean. So somewhat somewhere way up there.
But not not too much information. Not too much information about the artist. And not sure if it's a man or woman or a couple. But they seem to make seem to make a great product though. All right, guys. First pass was slick, nice, nice scent, very enjoyable. If you like barbershop scents, this is probably right up your alley because it smells nice and powdery. Probably a, to me, maybe a, a tad too much powdery, but but to me, I love I love powdery scents. So this this is up my alley. But but to, you know, some other people might not like this powdery scent, but I I do love it. I enjoy it. But nice nice first pass, guys. Very plenty slick. Very. Very nice lather from the first uh, get-go of my, of, of my brush. But let me rinse my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for my second pass here. Let's go ahead and put this on the face. So Scott from Shaywood Pain Lake, he lives around here, I believe. He lives close to me in Florida on the side of the state. I want to say he lives in Tampa somewhere, but... But definitely check out his channel. He's got a good, good shave content on this channel. There's a lot of different reviews on different razors. I happen to find like a lot of humor in his videos too also that he does. As he talks about his life and experiences that, that he has during the week. Yeah, nice, plenty of lather. I'm surprised. I had I used to use Mama Bear soaps, which had, which was a glycerin-based soap, and got pretty decent results from shaving with that soap. I haven't used that one in a long time, actually. I, I think they're still around, but but she made some nice scented soaps too. I mean, definitely check them out. Mama Bear soaps soaps on. I think she's still on Etsy, maybe, or or has her own website. But she was one of the, she was probably one of the few, very first artisans like Sterling and Mike's that started making, that made shave soaps back in the early 2000s, maybe late. Yeah, early 2000s, um, back in that time period when, when, when shaving kind of came back a little bit, started coming back. But guys, let's go do that, do that second pass across the grain here. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed about how slick the soap is and how strong it is too. I find a little bit of humor reading reading the scent descriptions of the, of the of the soaps sometimes by artisans, and this is by with a doubt no exception. But I'll read to you the the scent description of of this soap here. And it says, it says, this is basically word for word. Walk into a barbershop and smell rem reminiscent of grandpa, freshly shaved and sharply dressed. Powdery bay rum with sandalwood and earthy patchoula, along with bay rum, again, along with leather, old wood, furniture wax, and hair products floated in the air. So... Kind of a nice, nice set description there. The wording's a little bit funny, but but at least you get to the gist of what they what they wanted to go for in this in this shave soap. Woods, uh, powdery, bay rum. But to be honest, I don't smell too much bay rum. I smell more of the sandalwood in the soap. So if you love sandalwood, this would be a great soap to shave shave right up your alley if you like that kind of scent. Yeah, I'm looking at my eyes right now. I was outside doing like some lawn work the other day and I just rem you know, remembered washing my, you know, I, you know, I, did, I took a shower, went straight to bed, a little bit after I did that, 
And the next morning, my eyes were just, man, they were just swollen, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff coming in my eyes, discharged, crusty. So I know that it was, it was definitely the allergies floating in the air that got into my eyes, but it looks like I went a few rounds with Mike Tyson when I woke up because my eyes were that swollen. So I was like, man, I'm kind of embarrassed to go to work like this. So I had to put the eye drops in. I actually use these, uh, these over the counter drops called, uh, Pataday, which used to be, you can only get them with a prescription from your doctor, your physician. But now, you know, but now they're over the counter, which is nice because I used to always have to go right to the, have to always call. If I wanted the drops, my eyes were swollen all the time. I, if I want, if that time of year happened, I always have to make a call to uh, my doctor, my allergy doctor, get an appointment, wait about two, three weeks, get in there, get the script for the drops. And that's really much, pretty much all, all I saw for was the drops. And maybe, you know, just look at my nose, make sure nothing else was happening with the allergies. But, but now I don't have to go see them because they're out of the counter now, which is nice. But nice. Nice second pass, guys. Pretty enjoyable shave. But let me rinse, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my third pass, my against the grain pass. And this will be my, my test to see how much, how good the soap is, if it's enough to last me for three passes on this brush here. See if I have enough to load on my face. And so far, so good. Yeah, some soaps I try in the past, you know, even though I do a full, like 30 second brush, you know, brush loading with the, with the puck or soap, uh, some of the bad soaps wouldn't even last enough for even a, a third face loading or face, you know, lathering with the brush. But definitely enough soap on this one to do that, so. As you can tell, I'm still playing the lather. So I know they have more sense on their on their website on YouTube. So definitely check them out. They're called Viennese Main Main Crafts, and and I can see why Scott loved this soap. This is actually pretty decent soap. Yeah, scent is scent is pretty nice. Bit powdery, but man, really nice. All right, guys, that should be enough for the last money pass. So I hope you guys are doing well. I want to say it is still, it's hopefully not too bad for you guys up in the Northern States, not too much snow up there, but it's definitely warmed up, warmed up here in Florida. Yeah, we, we went through a cold spell like two weeks ago. Now it's like in the 80s now. So it's kind of like, if you want to say back to normal for us. It's kind of funny. We, we see people, um, you know, tourists that come down here. It's like 75 degrees and they're wearing long sleeve jackets and, you know, long sleeve shirts and jeans. And we're just... You know, as being Floridians that, that are used to living down here in the south, in the heat, it, it is enjoyable. So we're wearing shorts, tank tops. You know, it's like a, it's, it feels, feels refreshing for us to be in weather like that. Where you're not sweating the, your pores are sweating are completely pushing sweat out, the sweat glands, and just everything coming up out. Having the oily skin. So it, it's, it's a relief for us when it's cooler down here. That's for sure. But baseball is starting soon. And we went to, I, I went to the, uh, the Timber Bay Rays Fan Fest last weekend, which was nice and pretty cool to see baseball back. It's, 
for that void between the last game, the Super Bowl, and in spring, in the spring when baseball starts, it kind of gets. For me, for me being a avid sports sports fan, it's kind of kind of boring. You know that 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 period of time. But I'm so glad baseball is coming back. I mean, I do watch hockey too. Not really into much basketball, but I do follow the uh, Orlando Magic, which is close by here, over the, over there in Orlando, and the Florida Gators basketball team. I do follow those things, but man, I really love football and baseball, and I'm so glad baseball is coming back shortly. We'll be back here for spring training and then the start of the regular season. All right, guys, that shave is in the books. That was fantastic. Actually, the soap is surprisingly really, really great. I love the, for. For me to say this about a, a glycerin soap, I actually enjoy this. It's probably maybe even better than, maybe even better than Mama Bear's, if I can remember. I don't remember having that much sweetness from a soap, you know, glycerin puck like that. But, all right, guys, let me rest my face, and I will be back for that post-shave. All right, guys, back for my post-shave. So, I don't have the after shave that goes with that soap. I, I believe they make after shaves on their website of uni main made crafts for this, this particular soap. But I actually have an aftershave that smells pretty close to what it smells like, and it's my Floyd aftershave. But it's their barbershop, their barbershop scented aftershave. So let's put this on the face. And as you can tell, I haven't really used much of it, so. But very, very nice barbershop scent. This one has plenty of sandalwood in it, so it kind of matches up really nice with that, that VD old time barbershop. And nice menthol. Man, it feels nice. Yeah, so very nice post-shave feel from this aftershave. I wish they made the Floyd Blue still because that's my favorite aftershave, one of my favorite aftershaves, but they stopped making that. But this is a pretty close second. Very nice aftershave. So guys, after shave, I used the v &E Made Main Crafts Old Time Barbershop Soap that came into this packaging. And the place you can find this is on eBay. I also use my my E1 Gillette Fat Boy but adjustable, adjustable razor. So this has the adjustable setting on number four. Actually, it's right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but number four with the Parmesan Shop blade, which by the way performed really nice with that number number four setting on the Fat Boy. So got a very very nice shave from that. And last but least, I use the. Owner's Club Bore Brush by Smoke, Excellent brush, by the way. And I think these are still a pretty decent value on Amazon. I want to say they're still a $35 range for a nice premium bore, bore, you know, bore head brush. But definitely, definitely a great brush. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy your shaves. And definitely check out Shaving Pig Leg. He's got his channel. I'll leave, I'll leave the description below. But thank you, Scott, for reviewing this soap because that sparked my interest and I was wanting to try a new barbershop scented soap and I found this one through your web, you know, through your YouTube channel. So thanks for the uh, recommendation and I will see you guys later. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week and I will see you guys later. Take care.